Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of our channel. This video is going to be about the first section of the first chapter. This chapter is useful for lab investigations and uh, physics IX. You will also need the principles you learn in this chapter for all the other chapters in IB Physics. Quantities and Units A physical quantity is anything that can be measured. Some of the quantities include mass, length, electrical current, time, and temperature. All physical quantities have magnitude and units. Quantities may have uh, many units. However, SI units are used for convenience. For example, length can be measured in various units such as inches, meters, yards, centimeters, miles, kilometers. But for convenience, we, all, we agree on one SI unit, which is meters. Uh, the most basic quantities are known as fundamental quantities and you will need to memorize those for IB syllabus. All other quantities are expressed in terms of them and called derived quantities. These are the six fundamental units we need to know for IB. Mass, its SI unit is kilograms, length, meters, current in amperes, amount of substance in moles, time in seconds, and temperature in kelvins. Derived units are expressed in fundamental units. Some of the examples of the drive units are meters per second, which is used for velocity, uh, moles per decimeter cubed, which is the uh, units for concentration, and newtons, which is actually kilogram meter per second squared, which is used to represent force. Uh, significant figures. Significant here means meaningful. Numbers with many digits are usually rounded up to a certain amount of significant figures, since not all digits are significant or meaningful. Consider the number uh, 2560.3. 2, in this case, is the most significant number, while 3 is the least significant. This number has 5 significant figures. 2, 5, 6, 0, and 3. Uh, there are 5 rules to counting significant figures. The first rule is that all non-zero numbers are significant. For example, in number 365, 3, 6, and 5 are, are all significant, hence there are three significant figures in this number. Another rule is zeros in between non-zero numbers are significant. For example, in 305, 0 is also a significant number. Zeros that are on the left of the first non-zero number are not significant. For example, 0 0.0021 has only two significant figures because all the zeros before 2 do not uh, count as significant. Zeros that are on the right side of the decimal point are significant. So uh, 2.032 has 4 significant fingers because 0 is significant in this case. If there is no decimal point, zeros are not significant. In order to make them significant, decimal point has to be added. For example, in the number 350, there are only 2 significant figures. In order to make the zero significant, you need to put the decimal after zero. Scientific notation. Very large or small numbers are expressed in terms of powers of 10 for the sake of convenience. For example, the number 98 billion is written as 9.8 times 10 to the 10th. The number 0.00000548 is written as 5.48 times 10 to the negative 8. Decimal point is placed on the right of the first digit. Uh, the power of 10 is the same as the number of zeros after or before the decimal point. If the number is less than 1, the exponent is negative, while if the number is larger than 1, the exponent is positive. Orders of magnitude. Orders of magnitude are fixed powers of 10. They are constant across all quantities and can be used to express very large and very small numbers. Uh, the orders of magnitude we need to know for IB syllabus are on the next slide. These orders of magnitude will be given in the data booklet, so we don't need to memorize them. Here they are. Beta, tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, whatever. Centi, milli, mic, mic, micro, nano, pico, femto. Thanks for watching our first video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, write comments, suggestions, questions. Thank you. Bye.